Hey Libras, welcome back to my channel. It's your Rojo, Big Ocean, Missouri, and we are here to do a energy shift reading. We're going to talk about the energy that you're in and that you're coming out of and the energy that you're going into if you haven't already transitioned into it for the month of April. Also, if you have Libra anywhere in your placements, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may partially or may not resonate with you at all. If it doesn't resonate with you at all, that is fine. All that means is that I'm on a wavelength that you're not on with your energy today. So depending on the wavelength that I'm on depends on the type of reading that you would get from the divine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tap into this and see what's going on with my Libras. Where are they and where are they transitioning from and to? Okay, Libra. For April. have the emperor card which is home am i really happy and safe where i am living do i love my home okay for a lot of you guys you might be questioning people who are around you questioning the people that you are being vulnerable with and things like that and really try to see who has your best interest at heart libra Okay, it's all about you trying to find comfort comfortability right now, or right? that was the energy that you're in was trying to com find comfortability. So if you did move into a home or the home you're in, you could have been thinking about moving. You could have been trying to make your home feel more homey. Uh, some of you guys could have just, like I said, been trying to really figure out who's in your circle. Okay, it could have been some family issues, trying to figure out, you know, things with family as well. There's some energy that you're going through. All right, and now you have the sun, which is share. How can I share what I know and who do I want to share it with? Who can I help? You are trying to share your home. Okay, so a lot of you guys might not have been, <laughs> you could have been where you didn't let people come into your home. You're very, very private. You could have been in hermit mode, not really being out in public or being seen. Like I said, you could have been kind of not spending a lot of time with your family. And I feel like now you're in the energy of sharing your home, opening your door and allowing people to come in. This could not just necessarily be a physical home. This could just be your emotional home, being more vulnerable and open with somebody, allowing somebody to come in. Okay, so we're going to get some clarity on that. However, I just feel like this energy is wonderful. Okay, with the emperor and the sun, I feel like there's somebody who could be coming in for you. You could have um, being, you know, that you put in a lot of hard work. You're finally starting to see some kind of reward from it. Okay, you could be coming into the spotlight as well. People could start acknowledging you for your hard work and efforts. Okay. Some of you guys are going from the all work, no play into learning how to play and have fun as well. Making time for other people, making time for hobbies. So, yeah, there's a lot of things that's coming on with this transition, Libra. All right, what's going on with my Libras for the month of April? Okay, kind of strength in reverse. guys you do have the strength card in reverse with the six of wands in reverse and the star all right somebody doesn't like the fact that you are about to be out there glowing and doing your best <laughs> no you don't i also feel like this could just be you guys opening up as well a lot of you guys um could have just been really overprotective of yourself and really guarding your emotions guarding your heart guarding I feel like you're just really guarding yourself and you weren't really letting anybody in, whether this is friends and family. Could have been seen as secrecy. But the six of wands and the strength in reverse, I just feel like that is just like really, really guarded up. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like you felt like people were trying to attack you constantly. So it's just like you were always in defense uh, defense mode okay Libra like people ask you questions because it seems like the energy here at the home am I really happy and then with the sun how can I share what I know it's just like you 
you wanted to make sure people around you were genuine, that they were true before you just opened up and gave them any information with, you know, any information to them. You weren't the type to lay down and pillow talk and then, you know, you're not cool anymore. You weren't the one, you weren't looking for gossip or anything. You were trying to find good energy, good people, good genuine people to connect with. And that's the vibe that you're still on. So I do feel like you guys um, kind of let your guards down a little bit. Like you're transitioning into letting your guards down and being a little bit more open. However, what you're def <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like you're being really, really protective of yourself, but you're looking amazing and you're feeling amazing. You could have been sheltered off and not seen as well. You could have just been staying home or staying low key. And now you're coming back outside. I do feel like Libra, you have like a glow about yourself. People are going to recognize there's something different. And when you do come into contact with people, Libra, you will be able to initially feel their energy. And you'll have a lot of clarity about people's int uh, intentions with you and if they're being very, very genuine as well. Um, you're, you've been secretly growing something. This could be like a business. You've been secretly working on something. And I think it's almost ready to be coming to the, to the front, to the front and center of whatever it is of people's eye. And this one. More clarity cards. Yeah, once again, somebody doesn't want to see you be happy. Somebody doesn't like to see you like nourishing yourself. Alright, I feel like a lot of you guys could have just with letting the guards down. Some of you guys could have not used protection or something, and you could be looking to uh I feel like water breaking or, you know, slipping through your fingers. Like somebody slipped through the cracks and you could be like becoming pregnant. <laughs> okay. If it could be. Alright. 66 might be a number that you see often or six by itself. All right, so you have a lot of reversals in this reading. <laughs> I am quite concerning. So you have the shift card in reverse with the nines of swords in reverse, and it's just like you're no longer, um, I just feel like you're no longer letting somebody antagonize you, or you're not allowing, like I said, you kind of had your guards up, and you're kind of filling people out. You don't let people have as much control over you as they did before. I feel like you guys are, a little, are feeling a lot freer these days. Like I said, you're glowing. Okay, your energy is good. You created some boundaries with somebody um, and you stuck with them. You're no longer losing sleep over something. Okay, you're feeling comfortable. You found that comfort that you're looking for in your home. Uh, you're not feeling like you have to shut everybody out at this time, Libra. You do have the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, you found a balance of give and take. You, you've, you're in a position of if everybody, like everybody in your circle... You're trying to see, like I said, who is genuine, who is really there for you. You're only reciprocating what, you know, people are giving you. If people is giving you time, you're giving them time. You know, you're not always texting first. You're trying to see who's going to text you and check on you. Okay, you're not always driving to go visit somebody. They have to come visit you. You're in the energy mode of I'm giving what you're giving and no more or no less. Okay, because it's just like you're not you're not looking to go over and beyond right now. Okay. So you're really peeping the scene and really feeling people's energy right now. Okay, so with this with the star card and the queen of swords. I just I just honestly feel like you know when to turn up and when to turn down. Let me get a little bit of clarity on this queen of swords. It's only something like you know when to turn it on and when to turn it off. Okay. Like, you could be nurturing that that real vain, bossy side of you. You could be nurturing that, okay? You could be also, like, learning how to calm down those thoughts, anxieties, or feeling like you know everything. Okay? Yeah, you guys are going, like, in a new direction. A lot of you guys might have found some new love, a new person. You're focused on... You're focused on being healed. You're focused on what's making you happy. You're focused on protecting your heart, protecting yourself. Okay? 
but you're doing it like in a calm manner. I don't know. Like I said, you, you, you're not letting anybody work, walk over you. So you're really telling people what it is from the jump. You're telling your expectations, whether this is a job or if this is a person. Could be family as well. You're, being, you're letting people know what it is. You're not trying to cultivate these conversations to be gentle. You're really kind of being blunt right now with it, okay? Because... You're feeling like somebody needs to hear it raw so they can so they can heal themselves. Okay. I feel like you know there's somebody who doesn't enjoy your company, but it's just like killing them with kindness. You're killing them with kindness. Alright, so let's see what's going on with you, Libra. Let's get this oracle card that's gonna talk about your transformation. A time to give rather than to take. A new moon in Virgo. Okay? And I feel like, sis, you're giving. You are giving yourself your true self. You're giving yourself the chance to be open. The chance to be surrounded by individuals who are with you. A chance to give yourself gratitude. A, a chance to give yourself a break. Okay, I feel like you've taken a lot of energy, you've taken on a lot of baggage of everybody else, and now it's time to give yourself a break and to give yourself uh, a hand of applause. It's time for you to give yourself the green light that it is okay to go and do what you want to do to grow, okay, and to have the things that you, do, that you desire in happiness. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. Much love.